Hi everyone, Falcon Uruguay here. Uh, gonna do another review today of a 2014 MRE and today's menu is gonna be menu number four, spaghetti with beef and sauce. And uh, again, this is a Warnick produced MRE. And as with my last few MREs that I purchased from this batch, uh, they do not have any date codes stamped anywhere on them so but i do know that it is a 2014 so let's go ahead and get it open up here let's see we'll open it up there we go and check out what's inside all right first thing off the bat is going to be we have raisins and these look to be the regular type raisins there's your date code, 343rd day of 2013. We have multigrain snack bread. And you guys can see the nutritional information right there. Here's some of the ingredients. And this has got a date code of the 357th day of 2013. We have accessory packet A, some wild berry Skittles. That's our candy component for this particular meal. And as you can see here, the expiration date on it, well, there we go, is April 2015. So we're just coming up on a year on, on that almost. And we've got our peanut butter and we'll see if we can make out a date code on this thing mm. hold on here yeah that's uh i don't even know if that's gonna be here we go yeah, they had it no consistency on the stamping on some of these sometimes so let's see according to this it's the 309th day of 2013. I don't know if that's visible there. Ah, some blackberry jam. And this was packaged on the 266th day of 2013. Again, that's another one of these. I don't know if it'll come up. There we go. Some blackberry jam. Uh-huh. Beverage base powder, lemon lime. I like the smaller packages. And it's not fruit punch has been the norm for the last couple of MREs I've had here. And this has got a date code of the 253rd day of 2013. Our MRE spoon. Our Blameless ration heater. Our beverage bag. Here's our sleeve for the spaghetti with beef and sauce. And there's both the ingredient list and also the nutritional information if you want to hit pause and, and read it. And we have our entree. Package on the 351st day of 2013. Now, interestingly enough, a lot of these MRE pouches, the actual meal pouches, don't have many markings other than the, um, the printed information as such, showing what the meal is and the manufacture date and such. But this is new. I've... Uh, you don't really see a lot of these that actually have let's see if I can get this to come up here come on well there we go oh I had it for a second there as you can see there's some inspection labels on here which haven't been on many of the other pouches so it's interesting 
All right, so let's go ahead and we'll look at our accessory packet here. Let's move all this off to the side for the time being. Here's our accessory packet, and we'll crack that open. And inside we have our toilet paper, our salt, a moist towelette, we have our creamer, sugar, matches, our instant coffee type 3, and again another pack of the cinnamon dental gum. So first things first, let's go ahead and prep our hot beverage. So. get all of our get all of our stuff started here I do apologize everyone for not putting up a video last week but I was recovering from whatever bug that has been going around here lately and uh, really just wasn't up for making a video so there's our that's our creamer here's our, our sugar There we go. And now we'll do our we'll do our water here. So we'll add our There we go. Right on the line. Get as much of that out. The air. Seal that up really well. And we'll give it a shake. There we go. That seems to have uh, worked really well. Now we'll go ahead and we'll prepare our flameless ration heater. And as in my last video, we're gonna go ahead and utilize our salt. And now I will cheat here and use the open salt from the last video that I made for you guys. And We'll use that in conjunction with our flameless ration heater. So we'll open that up there. And we'll go ahead and pour in our salt. And as you can see, there's our our salt here. So, go ahead and we'll place our, our entree and we'll try to get this coffee in here. So we'll try to finagle the pouch inside. gravity to do most of the work for us here but 
may have to give this one a helping hand in a second. There we go, that seems to have gotten it. And now we'll add our, add a little water. There we go. We'll make sure our salt is well dissolved. And man, got that right on the line. It's perfect. We'll slip everything down. Get that pad down. Close everything up. Get that pad going and already we are rocking and rolling this thing's already getting nice and toasty we can get it in this sleeve here as you can hear it's cooking off pretty well so let's get that in the in the sleeve and we'll get it up over here and we'll go ahead and get our we'll get our tray in the picture and let's get everything else plated up so here's our multi-grain snack bread we'll crack that open and there's our little oxygen absorber and hmm interesting that's an interesting smell it's uh it's quite quite dense you can see all the multi grains as a matter of fact there's just one sticking out there so we'll put that there And uh, we'll go ahead and get our other beverage started here. So here's our, and this is going to be 12 ounces of water. So we're going to end up having a And here's our, what our powder looks like, a nice little kind of lime green looking thing there so okay, there we go and we'll go ahead and add our water yeah i call that about we'll call that about 12 ounces right about there get our trusty mre spoon and Stir it up. It's a little interesting. Yeah, this feels like it's dissolving pretty well, so. Probably give that another stir before we actually drink it, but there's our lemon lime beverage. Plugs that off to the side right here. And we'll go ahead and open up our raisins. Let's uh Open that up. And as you can see, here's our our raisins, and we'll get that out on the tray. Huh. Perfect fit. And wow, you can smell those raisins already. Let's uh, show you guys here our. There we go. We'll kind of see it there. There we go. There's our raisins. 
standard plain Jane raisins. And then we'll do our our Skittles. We'll open these up and we'll get some of these out on the tray. And here's our our peanut butter. And we'll give that a a good knead. jam same thing we'll give it a little bit of a knead get everything well incorporated and again go ahead and use our scissors here to cut the corners up of our sachets of our blackberry jam and our peanut butter so let's uh let's go ahead and do this i'm going to go ahead and uh i'm going to take the bread and let's uh break it in half nice clean break and we'll do Do our peanut butter. And I'm really not a big jelly guy and uh, shocking. But uh, I love peanut butter. But peanut butter and jelly somehow for me was a little bit too much. It was a little too much sweet. But well... We'll make a, an exception today and put a little of this blackberry jam on part of it. So there's our blackberry jam. And really not much of a smell to the, to the blackberry jam, but there we go. And we'll save this piece of bread for our entree. So... Right now, what we're going to do is we will proceed to try out some of these items. So let's, uh, it's kind of a light meal here. Uh, there's really no, not much other in the snacks and accoutrement department here on this particular entree. So let's start off with our peanut butter and jam on our, on our multigrain bread. That a try. Mm. Whoops. Oh, that's nice. I'm making a nice mess on myself here. Hmm. And peanut butter. Always real tasty. The blackberry jam is adds a nice sweetness to it and is not particularly overwhelming with the sweetness and cloyness of you would normally get with like a grape or um, strawberry jam. Um, not bad, not bad at all. And then we'll just try the side with just the peanut butter, which is how I personally prefer it. Mmm. How can you go wrong with peanut butter? I mean, it's pretty much, that's pretty much the perfect food. Mm. Now, the blackberry jam would probably go well on, on its own if you were on a march and needed some quick, some quick sugars and, and such to get you, get your energy up. 
So I can I can picture somebody using this like a like what they're using those new um, power gels. It's really, I mean, technically it's not much difference between one and the other. But well, let's put a little of that on here and just try it straight up. So, so there's our blackberry jam. Let's give that a try. Hmm. Mm. got some blackberry seeds in there it's thick mm. definitely taste the um the blackberries in it and looking at the ingredient list i mean it's about as simple as you can get here oh if you can get that back into focus here there we go sugar blackberry puree pectin citric acid and water I mean that's about as straight up as you can you can get right there, and uh, works really well. The 18 grams of sugar per packet. This would be a good little boost on the you know on a March or if you're going to do it with the peanut butter and jelly. So that works really well. All right, let's uh, try our raisins here. So there's our. There's our raisins. Let's, uh, let me do a smaller portion than that. There you go. Let's give that a try. And okay, it's raisins. They're soft. They've got a little chew to them. Nice and sweet. Yeah, that works. So. Let's uh, get another bite of this and try it out. Mm. Mm. Again, tasty. And that bread is incredibly dense. I mean, that is some hearty bread. I mean, it's got good flavor to it. And you can definitely taste the the multigrain in it as you're chewing down. You get the little the little bits here and there, so um, you can feel the multigrains in there. Let's uh, give our drink another stir, and uh, we shall try this out. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let me get let me give that a second. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, that's a that's a very that flavor. Uh it's not bad. And um it's sweet, obviously, uh, but it's very reminiscent of something, and I'm trying to put my finger on it, and it's, man, that is very reminiscent of either the green high C that you used to get back in the 80s and so and such, or it is very, very similar to the old high C ecto cooler, which I'm sure some of you guys that are my age remember that stuff from the uh, the late 80s and probably the early 90s. It hasn't been in production for a very long time, but that is very that is ve that is a very interesting. I was expecting more of the Green Death kind of Gatorade flavor, but this is more akin to the uh akin to a, the green high c that lemon that kind of lemony lime high c flavor very it's tasty it, don't get me wrong it's just it's a flavor that even though it's supposed to be lemon lime it, there's some other aspects to it that i can't put my finger on so but it's it's quite good all right so let's uh see how our 
entree is doing here and uh, let's make sure that the pads have all gone off here and uh, this is definitely good and hot let's see I just want to make sure yeah these oh uh, this is this thing's still it's still going here, but it definitely is good and hot. I mean, even I can feel the, I can feel that coffee is good and hot. So let's go ahead and, oh man, that's going. That's definitely going pretty good here. So let's get our, our coffee out. Oh, son of a gun, that's hot. All right, so let's uh, get our cup here. And we'll... get our... And as you can see again, it's pretty, the heat's pretty much wrinkled that bag, so you know it's definitely gotten that uh, FRH is definitely cooked off there. So here's our coffee. Let's give that a try. Mm. Tasty and it is hot. Again, not, you know, not scald your lips off hot, but it's it's hot. And then here's our son of a gun. I don't know if you can. I mean, that is still definitely. I don't know if you could see the. steam coming out of that, but it's, uh, whew. gosh darn it, that's definitely hot. All right, so let's put our entree right here while we get this out of the way. All right, so now you can see the heat there. From the from the entree is pretty evident. And we'll, man, it's it's backside's almost you can barely touch it. So let's get our entree opened up here. Well, come on. Let's see if we can. Somehow managed to open this up a little bit. And then we've had a tear failure here, and it's mostly my fault, I believe. So there we go. Now we got it open. And let's open that up. And there's our lovely entree. And let's get that out on the tray. There we go. Let's uh, proceed to get all of it out of the pouch. There we go. There's our there's our entree. And you can see here our, our pasta. And we've got our beef. And uh, let's go ahead and get a nice spoonful of that for the for the camera. There we go. As you can see, the pasta is cut up a bit, and the smell is definitely reminiscent of your traditional uh, canned spaghetti, uh, you know, i.e. Chef Boyardee. So, let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. 
Okay. Hmm. Well, Derek, definitely tell you the sauce is very tasty. The pasta is soft, but not not overly mushy. Uh, I think the uh, again the texture is very reminiscent of a canned ca canned pasta that you would find on the shelf. Um, good flavor. Uh, the beef is um, tender good beef flavor now I did notice on the uh, the ingredients list that there is some TVP some textured vegetable protein in the beef patty crumbles so they probably went ahead and did a little there's real beef and there's also the the TVP I guess so as to I don't know extend a little bit to stretch out the the protein content and everything which on the entree itself if you look the protein is actually not bad it's uh according to the packaging as you can see there it's 20 grams of protein in this in this uh eight ounce meal which is pretty good considering so yeah that's actually mm. That's actually not bad. Now, if you if you were eating this and hadn't looked at the ingredients list, you really couldn't tell that there's any uh, textured vegetable protein in there. Normally, you can when you get the TVP, you can pretty much tell because the texture's a little off and the you know the meat, the quote unquote meat flavoring that they use is. You know, it's it's there, but not quite. You kind of know what it is, especially when you when it hits your teeth, and you can tell the texture is just not there. This, on the other hand, I don't know what they're, what ratio that they're using between the beef, the real beef, and the TVP, but you definitely can taste the beef, and it tastes like real beef, and um, and you don't really get a lot of the TVP. You know texture and flavor that you would normally find so but this is actually pretty good mm. yeah you definitely don't need any salt I mean it's not salty but it's not bland either so for my personal taste I wouldn't add any salt to this some other people well you know they might want to uh, spiffy this up a little bit and, um, you know, I'm sure you guys can go and, um, you know, you can use different items to, to kind of jazz it up. But, uh, I think for me, it's fine as is. And that definitely hearty stick to your ribs and that would definitely fill you up. And I think you'd feel pretty good after eating this, especially out in the field. Yeah, even though the all the other components of the MR of the MRE are kind of sparse in comparison to the last couple of ones that I've done, uh, I think you definitely would would feel satisfied after eating this. And uh, of course, it would also give you that you know that comfort food feeling, you know, the spaghetti and pasta and all of that, you know, plenty of carbs and all that. So you'd feel, you'd, it, this would definitely fill you up. So that works really well. And of course, if you want to, you know, use some of that bread and have some of that together. Hmm. Yeah, that works pretty well. So, yeah, just set that right on there. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that's definitely. 
That is definitely tastes like the old high C. Um, that old high C lemon lime kind of kind of flavor to it. So yeah, that works really well. And then um, I guess all that's really left is after you're done. You'd have your Skittles here, and these are the, if I remember correctly, I believe these are the tropical, these are the tropical berry variety of, uh, oh, excuse me, wild berry Skittles. I would have, per personally, I would have preferred M&M's, but heck. That were, here's our different flavors. Let's try these. Mm. Yeah, they're Skittles. Although they do have a berry flavor and it's that artificial kind of blue raspberry-ish type of flavor. Yeah. So yeah. It's a it's it's Skittles. I'm sure everyone has tried them at least once. I personally am not a big fan of them, but they're not they're not absolutely horrendous like some other candies I've seen. So again, guys, that was uh the review of the twenty fourteen MRE menu number four spaghetti with beef and sauce and um again i want to thank everybody that's been watching the videos and subscribing to my channel i really greatly appreciate it guys and um actually we're get we're getting to come up pretty soon on the 100th view of my first video which will be a nice little milestone and uh i want to thank everybody all the other MRE reviewers that are out there, Gundog, Steve1989, Sticky Fingers, uh, RC Gusto, Kiwi Dude, and uh, all the other guys that are out there. Again, thanks for for inspiring me, and uh, I'm I've really taken a lot of your your comments and everything to heart, and I really do appreciate it. So, again, like and subscribe to the channel, and. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Take it easy.